every two or three generations, we are called to rise above our circumstances and pull together as a species. We are living in truly unprecedented times as we struggle to win this war of humans versus a disease. Fear and panic are on the rise. Couple that with the completely reassuring statements from our leadership. We find ourselves asking, tama pa ba ang pinasok ko? Tama pa ba? Nagustuhin kong maging abogado sa mundo kung saan ang mga taong mapagpasya at mabilis kumilos ay siya namang pinapatawag sa kung saang himpilan upang panagutin sa mga bagay na hindi pa naman krimen, hindi labag sa batas noong sila ay inaksyonan. We are living in truly trying times where our leaders have all but abandoned us, ghosting the people when we need decisions, answers, solutions, where our leaders point to one another in an attempt to pin the blame on the last person. Kung election year ngayon, kapatid, malulunod tayo sa mga bote ng alcohol at sanitizer na may mga mukha ng kung sino man ang gustong manloko sa atin sa balota. Tsak na ang pamunuan natin ay susulitin ang bawat pagkakataon na maging laman ng balita at social media na kunwari ay nagpapaabot daw ng relief, nakikiramay sa mga frontliners at kasama natin sa gitna ng ganitong mga pagkakataon. Sadly, this is not an election year. We are slowly but surely descending into a downward spiral where the basic social order is unraveling. Men and women are showing their true colors and medical problems are viewed from a peace and order paradigm. Hindi aksidente na kasama kita ngayon kapatid narito ka kasi gusto mo nang maging abogado. Narito ka kasi kahit papaano ay gusto mo rin ng pagbabago. Narito ka kasi gusto mo rin may aho ng iyong pamilya, ang iyong mga kaanak at kahit papaano mabago ang iyong lipunang ginagalawan. Here are the five attributes you will need for law school success. Coming right up. Hi, my name is Lex and welcome to Lex in Motion. In this channel, I'll be helping you build your competence, confidence, and capability in law school. Start today by hitting the subscribe button below. New episodes are posted every Friday. Concentration is the ability to stay focused for an extended period of time. Concentration is that attribute that helps us keep our mental state aligned to our short-term and long-term goals. Concentration is important because it gradually degrades over time. Concentration is important in law school because it operates on two levels. In law school, you will be required to read anywhere between 12 to 30 cases per class per day. Isama mo pa dyan ang textbook at codal provisions na kung susumahin ay umaabot din ng 80 to 180 pages per meeting. And that translates anywhere between 3 to 8 hours of work per class per meeting. Sa loob ng iyong ilang oras na pagbabasa, your focus will wander. Your thoughts will drift at pubuksan mo na ang iyong phone. Scroll saglit sa IG at mapapalike, DM at hindi mo na mamalayan ang paglipas ng oras. Naroon ding hindi mo nga bubuksan ang phone mo pero iniisip mo naman ang iyong mga nakaw na sandali kasama ang iyong jowa o anong gusto mong lunch o kung naship na ba yung order mo sa Zalora. Sa paglipad ng iyong wisyo, dumadaan lang ang letters sa iyong mga mata at uulit-ulitin mo ang isang paragraph pero hindi mo pa rin maiintindihan. On the other hand, your focus on your goal of becoming a successful lawyer, of changing lives, and improving the world you live in also requires concentration. If you are absolutely focused on this goal with the right amount of concentration, you will find yourself making the right decisions, often unconsciously, towards this goal. Readings before feelings, learning bago ang summer fling. Technique is how comfortable you are when faced with law school questions, in recitation or during your exams. Technique is the sum total of small things done correctly, done well over a long period of time. A student with poor technique will struggle to full points in every problem and often wonders why. A law student with poor technique will not produce the right results to survive in law school. The good thing about technique is that it can be learned. No one comes into law school with good technique but it can be developed over time. Your ability to spot issues in law school problems to express your answer in a clear, concise, and elegant manner and in the prettiest way possible can be developed 
even before you come to law school. If you are in law school now and you still have poor technique, huwag kang mag-alala kapatid dahil kapag gumaling ka ng sumagot, gumanda na ang sulat mo at nag-improve na rin ang iyong structure, hinding-hindi ka na babalik sa dati mong level. Technique can be improved through a thorough and comprehensive system of feedback mechanisms, something that's clearly lacking in law school. Technique can also be learned from shadowing a mentor. If you do not have access to both, I have older episodes you can watch on how to improve your handwriting and your ability to spot issues and answer well in law school. Work rate is the sheer willingness to get things done for law school. It is the combination of determination, consistency, and professionalism. Work rate is how much you want to do for law school. even when there are no deadlines or recitations in sight. It is the burning desire to improve, to become better at all facets of law school, reading comprehension, understanding provisions, analyzing problems, and test-taking. It is approaching law school with a sensible, workmanlike attitude. It is the commitment to succeed in and out of the classroom. As I've mentioned in previous episodes, hustle will always outplay talent, especially when talent does not work hard. Work rate is one of the most essential attributes you will need to succeed in law school. A student with excellent technique can and will be outperformed by another with a lower level of technique, but higher work rate. It is also one of the reasons why so many fail in law school. Maraming matalino sa law school, kapatid, na hindi nagsisipag pero nagtataka kung bakit mababa or bagsak sa exam. Meron din namang hindi matalino pero umaariba sa law school at lahat yan ay dahil masipag sila. Anticipation is the attribute of recognizing patterns in recitations, exams, and in your reading materials. Anticipation is the ability to see where the professor is going to take the recitation for the day. As applied in examinations, it is the ability to identify which topics are likely to be asked. during your midterms and finals. Among all of these attributes for law school success, anticipation is the hardest to teach. Sabi ng iba, kapatid, it's either you have it or you don't. Hindi naman ako naniniwala doon. If you pay enough attention during class recitation and you take down notes, you will get enough information to figure out the pattern of questions and how your professor phrases his or her questions. Anticipation is a two-step process in a two-step problem. The first part is the ability to identify what is going to be asked. And second, the ability to react. To that question. If you are going to excel in law school, you will need the work rate to put in the time, energy, and effort in law school. You will need the concentration to make the most of all of your time, lalo na ngayong may oras ka. Finally, you will need anticipation for you to be more efficient in your reading and you will need decent technique to pull off a great answer. Finally, you will need fortitude. Fortitude is the ability to hold yourself together in the midst of pain and adversity. The pain and the adversity often comes from things we can control. Bokya ka sa resit kasi hindi ka nagbasa. Inuna mo ang Netflix at landi kesa sa mga dapat mong madigest. Naghabol, napuyat at ngayon papasok sa klase na walang alam. Sometimes malas lang. Malas sa bunot, doon ka pa na matatawag sa hindi mo alam o hindi mo na inabot sa basa. O matatapat ka sa professor na para bang may galit sa'yo. Or worse, sa professor na may tambyolo ng mga grades na ibinibigay. Fortitude is the never say die attitude. It is the ability to be hopeful in an otherwise hopeless situation. Fortitude is the ability to remain calm and composed even for just a little while longer sa gitna ng lahat ng nangyayari sa buhay. About 10 years ago, I did not have any of these abilities. I did not have good technique. Pinaganda ko lang ang aking sulat at ang aking kakayahang magsulat. Tamad akong magbasa at mag-aral noong college at inaasa ko lang lahat sa kakayahan kong mambola sa essay at humula ng husto. sa multiple choice. Mataas ang aking focus kapatid pero para lang yun sa mga projects na gusto ko at syempre para sa Call of Duty, Dota at Borderlands. Now if you don't have these abilities and attributes kapatid it's going to be alright. 
Remember that our shared goal in this channel is to become the best versions of ourselves. You are here because you want to go to law school. You are here because you are now in law school but you're not satisfied with how you are performing. What helped me in this journey is acknowledging I cannot do everything on my own. We need help for ourselves, for our law school journeys, for the people around us and now, more than ever, we need help for our country. With that in mind, I invite you now to just close your eyes, put your hands to your chest, and say these words after me. Father, we come to you now in the spirit of humble prayer. We are aware of how little we now have and how much we have to do to become who you want us to be. We are aware of our flaws, our inadequacies, and our shortcomings. We are weighed down by our past performances our prior failures, and our mistakes. We are held back by all of our worries and fears. Fears for our law school performances, fear for our health and safety, and fear of the future as our country deals with this crisis. We cast them all to you. We surrender to you all of these doubts and fears. We trust in the glorious future you have planned for us. We declare our thanksgiving for the victories you have won for us. Thank you in advance for your provision, for the food and the sustenance, for our health and the safety of our families. Thank you in advance for the concentration, the proper technique, the work rate, the anticipation, and the fortitude that we will need as we become lawyers for your people, lawyers for our country, lawyers who will one day make the right decisions, make the adequate preparations, and become the change we all need in this world. We offer a moment of silence for those who have lost their lives in this fight. We also pray in a special way for our frontliners, our caregivers, and the people who silently work to keep our markets open and those who bring food to our tables. Help us be mindful of the abundance that is ours and the abundance you will bring in your perfect timing. This we ask in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and Amen. Salamat kapatid kung inabot mo ang ending ng episode na to. Salamat at kahit sa ilang minuto ay natulungan kitang makalimot sa mga nangyayari sa atin at sa ating bansa. Stay safe, stay indoors, and stay faithful. Thank you so much for watching. Like and share this video for Good Law School Karma and I will see you next Friday.